that op started a change in Sam. One that would take years to really show itself. Years of figuring out what that change meant. But Sam's deal with Grimm meant he needed intel on EMPs and Black Arrow right now. Sam never asked for the little things. Which meant this was big. The other question was where to meet. We picked the National Mall, public space, lots of crowds for cover, open approaches. It made life tricky for the spotters. I could dodge them, and Sam, he could find them, and he did. each other, Vic. They're watching you, hoping to catch me. I think I'm insulted. You better take them out quietly so we can talk before they get back There's up. no way what we can use them all before the theft closes. It's Serious okay, baby. Sam. Don't make a scene. It's not that if much money. If they spot you or the crowd does, do we stop. Too much heat. Now get to it. And welcome back. This is actually one of my favorite levels. We're at a carnival. And we're gonna get fries and hot dogs while we're here, because I saw them all in the opening cutscene. But first thing we gotta do is get rid of all these exes, I mean, they're, they're just mad at Sam Fisher. Why are you following me? I wasn't! I wasn't following you! I swear! Talk to me about Victor Cost. He's just this guy. I swear. I, I don't know anything else. That was quite useful, wasn't it? Uh, you know, while this section's a lot of fun, you really don't learn much from these people, and it's basically a theme throughout it, and I just missed that guy. Uh, so here we go, we're, we're gonna follow him. I think this is a pretty nice section. It's probably one of the sections that they were going to put in, like, the blend into the crowd, like in Assassin's Creed. But they never did. I think this is kind of a remnant of it, but it is a lot of fun. It's nice to have a different change of scene. And I think I'm going to get some fries here. I'm going to wait for him to move and then maybe get a drink. I think they serve drinks there. Sam Fisher likes beer, right? Okay, I guess not. Maybe a sandwich? Oh, he's, he saw me. Yeah, you see here, I have absolutely nothing to defend myself with. So, if you get caught, you're dead. That's one of two Game Over screens that I am going to show throughout the whole LP. So here I'm actually going to do it right. <laughs> nice music. And I almost got caught again. <laughs> Apparently I did not play this well. You also have these crawl spaces to go through. And... I was a second off there. And now I'm back here, for some reason. Uh, I am playing very risky in this level. And... You could probably easily do this. I think, actually, the one time you guys saw me get caught is the only time I've gotten caught in this section in my playing of this game. So, it's not a hard section. It's just a little slow. But actually, a lot of fun. Looking for me. Oh crap! Your Fisher. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. Step inside. Huh? 
Tell me about your plans for me and your cost. Oh, fuck, Fisher. I was supposed to call it in when we saw you. Backup's waiting. Ready to take you in. Time for a change of plans, then. How informative that was. He's supposed to call when he sees Sam Fisher. I'm fairly positive that's what they all should be doing. But like I said before, this is actually a pretty nice uh, level, just in terms of having a nice group of set pieces. Like you have the Ferris wheel on the back, you can almost always see that no, if you look that. in the direction. You have a lot of people standing around just having their own conversations. And, you know, it, it's kind of a nice change to have stuff like that where, you know, instead of just being in an abandoned warehouse or something like that, or Iraq. I hated the Iraq level. But rather than being there, you actually do have people who are just, you know, having normal lives. And you can see there, you can get to a lot of places from these crawl spaces, not just the one place I'm going. But I have to stand in shadows, because there are lights right above where he is which can show them where you are. Got a minute to talk. Oh shit! You're fish, are you? Shit! Why are you following Victor Cost? Cost was just bait of home associate. We were waiting for you. Told the call in when we saw you. That man told us exactly what the last one said. Watch out. Already at the stake. I mean, that Check. section again. Take care of your admirers. Oh. Then we got a window before the handlers figure out they're done and send friends. If we're gonna do the face-to-face -face thing, we gotta do it now. You know the area around the monument? Yeah. There's a standalone booth right in front. Meet me there. I'll let you in. What I was going to say real quick before this cutscene starts is you really didn't need to talk to them. They told you absolutely nothing new. You could have hey. just knocked them out. Here, put this on. We don't have a lot of time. Those spotters had to have a backup. So we'll go over to basics here, cover the rest by phone. Sounds good. Look in the bag to find your favorite pistol. I didn't get you anything. Shut up, Sam. There's no time. You'll also find something I borrowed from a buddy over at DARPA. It's a portable EMP generator. Low intensity, short range. The bag's shielded so you can stash your gear in there, but uh, hit the trigger, you'll fry everything around you to use as juice. Nice. What else do you have for me? Uh, there's a file in the bag, but here's the short version. There's an R&D house called White Box. DOD contractor that does work on EMP technology. So? So, six months ago, they suddenly contract out all their security to those assholes over at Black Arrow. Now, that's a breaking pattern for them. They don't do corporate security. And based on what you told me about them... There might be a connection. Bingo. It's slim, but you've gone fifth freedom based on less. All right. Time for you to go. And you ping me when you reach safe distance, and we'll talk more about White Box before you go in. Will do. Stay safe, Vic. By order of the Department of Public Works, this fair and the museum are now closed. We have detected a gas leak on site. Everybody is to leave the fairgrounds in an orderly fashion immediately. This is me trying to remember which door to go out. So you see here, they cleared out. You just heard them. They're There's yelling. A on the site. For your safety, we need you to proceed to your car in an orderly fashion immediately. We I just repeat, got for your safety. the best pistol in the game, in my opinion. I have it fully upgraded, of course. And you can actually ghost this level, but since I apparently neglected to talk about it, I'm gonna tell you guys all about the upgrade system because I thought I spoke about it in video two. Um. Basically what happens is, as you're performing challenges, you you get points for the PEC challenges, you guys have seen that before actually in other videos, and 
as you do that, you get certain points that you can use towards any of your guns. And also co-op equipment, which may or may not be shown in a, in a later video, I'm not sure yet. But basically what you can do is you spend the points from your profile on guns, you get upgrades, which I've mentioned what they are before. But you earn them by doing challenges like you've seen me bash a door and kill a guy. You have ones like um, getting headshots, disappearing silently. There's one I'm terrible at where you kill ten people with one clip from uh, from your pistol. But, uh, you know, I kind of reload too much, so... I never get that. And that's basically it for the upgrade system. I'm knocking down basketballs here. And in this part, it is possible to ghost, but I really messed up. Someone in the thread had mentioned that. I can't recall who. And as you can see, you can, of course, use the full terrain to get them. No way we're going in there! How about you come to us instead? And apparently they're now claiming that there's city workers here to protect us. I always love those taunts, they make no sense whatsoever. You come over here! You got away with it in our airfield, Victor, but now it's over! And there's the airfield again! Shit! No way we're I told you that was coming back! I think I've got him! You think you've got me, but you turned the wrong way. You can run, but you can't And there's a PEC challenge actually progress to it. If I do that five times, I get a PEC set of points. Uh I guess I achieved the challenge. Cat and mouse is when they're checking out my last known position and I kill them, but the issue with that one is it's a little, I guess, finicky, whether it registers or not, because I've done that a lot in my playthroughs, and that was the first time it registered. It's not the most reliable thing, some of them. One of the easiest PEC challenges to do when you're doing terribly on co-op is to get reviving your teammate. We actually have, you guys will see later on, where I got that over the course of basically one level. I knew that guy was there too and I almost got caught. You see the product placement, Phillips. Also, we got the portable EMP worth noting. Um, that's a pretty useful tool. You have it almost the rest of the game. It does the same as an EMP grenade, except you don't have to throw it. There's no wind-up time. And I just blew up a hot dog stand, I think. And it stuns people, turns off lights, of course. It's fairly useful for doing stuff like that, where you dash across the field. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. I feel like that one must have been written in a different language, because no one talks like that in English. And this is actually the last part of the level. It's a very quick level, but like I said, I really enjoy it because it's nice to have a change from the usual, um, from the usual stuff that you get in, uh, Stealth games where you're mostly sneaking around military bases and stuff like that. And I'm a terrible shot today, apparently, when I was filming this. I, I'm not playing this today. I played this weeks ago. And that's it. Run to the car and you're done. To White Box. All those years you were lying to me. It was for the greater good, Sam. And I would do it again in a heartbeat, for the same reasons. Guess I never did know you. 
No, you didn't. And you still don't. 